Omar Isaf here, and in this video today, I'm going to show you how to bench press safely alone. Well, just watch the example right here of me doing 315 to see what... Oh, no! Oh, jeez. Oh, that doesn't look good. But let's see a replay. Yeah, I nearly fucking died. You know why? Because I did not bench press properly in a power rack. So let's review. This is how most YOLOs will do it. They're bench pressing, they fail, and they're too proud to call for help. And then they die. That's why. That's that's the number one cause of death for YOLOs. The other option right here is if you fail on a normal bench press like so, you're gonna do the roll of shame. Look around, make sure no one's looking, and do the roll of shame and roll it off. Now my dick's too big to do that, and that just quite frankly be uncomfortable. So what you can do instead, you can either try and fight for it. So on the bench press itself, try and save yourself. Right, like I did, which I don't recommend. It was very unsafe. Or you could just not be a dumb fuck. So, right here, people ask me, you know, how do you bench press without a spotter? At Fortis Fitness, Sean actually invented this piece of equipment, the glider and the actual rack and the bench. We have a power rack-like setup. So, if you look, those bars will protect me. I'm going to show you how to set one up with just a power rack. So, in order to do a proper bench press technique, bench press safely alone, it's a, it works 100% of the time. Unlike a spotter who maybe works, you know, 80, 90% and 10 to 20% forgets and you die. So what you need, step one, a power rack. If your gym doesn't have one of these, leave your gym, it sucks. Step two, you need a bench. Roll the bench in. Step three, set the pins at the appropriate height. The life-saving pins, uh, in this case, is going to be set at level nine. Then what you're going to do, you're going to take the actual bench press pins or handles where you're going to be bench pressing off of and then you adjust those so for me i think it's approximately 15 i'm showing you guys the raw uncut way so the whole footage so no one's confused you can review this as need be and once again you could bench press safely alone this is better than getting a spotter because once again this is a hundred percent reliable and all has to do with back arch if you're bored right now you could just you know look at my non-existent calves to keep yourself entertained but guys i 100% advocate this and I don't advocate bench pressing any other way. Then all you do after that is put the bar inside and you're ready to bench press. I'll, I'll give you an example right here. So once again, YOLO swag right here. I'm bench pressing. Everything's fine. I'm inside the power rack. It's touching my chest. And then all of a sudden, oh, no, I fail. You just roll it off of you. See, because I have that arch, I have that space. So it touches my chest but I have a space in my back. I lose that space in my back if I fail. So here's what I mean. I'm gonna set up the bench itself. Everything's nice and secure. I feel fine. The actual barbell itself is touching my chest every single repetition. Should I fail because I have that arch, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. I lose the arch, it hits the pins, doesn't even touch my body. I'm safe, I'm fine. No one's dead. Everybody's having fun. Everybody's having a good time. That's how you bench press. So this is just another angle of the same thing. My body is touching the actual bar. And then, oh, I'm going to fail in a second. What I do, I deflate my chest. You see that? I deflate the chest because I puff my chest up. And then I'm fine. Then you do the strut. That's the I didn't dance, I didn't die strut. So right here, here's an example a year and a half ago of me trying to do 315. Oh, look at that ass leaving the bench. And boom, I fail. And you see that right there? I'm totally fine. It's actually half an inch above me. I just roll it uh, forward, make sure no one's looking, and I am good. So once again, just to remind you guys, a final point, how to get that back arch. It's like so, that mid-back, just follow this exact cue, lifting your hips up, get in that tight arch. That's going to allow you to have a more stable, stronger bench press. This is the correct bench press technique. But what it also will allow you to do when you bench press alone is in case you fail, you just lose that mid-back arch, you'll flatten your chest, and then the bar will land on the pins. You're fine. So this is me doing it with proper form with the pins, guys. Thank you for watching. This is how you bench press safely alone. If you liked the video, make sure to like the video. And I'll be seeing all you guys in that next video. Stay safe. Stay strong. Peace. Lastly, everybody's been asking, this isn't even my final form. It's finally back in stock. It's guaranteed to sell out. Check out the website. Not to mention, Pursue Prevail, a new badass lone wolf design. And my favorite, another new one, Sacrifice to Win. Also, the Senate hoodie is in stock. So check out the apparel. The website will be in the description.